Lisa Pride here for Wareham Gateman TV, and alongside me is the Gateman outfielder, John Andrioli. And John, thank you for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. And it's great to see you back here. What brought you back to the Gateman again this season? Uh, well, I mean, uh, Coach Ferris is an unbelievable coach, and uh, his staff, uh, Coach Maxwell, uh, Coach Pereira, Coach Pride, obviously uh, being a big leaguer, it's unbelievable to learn from uh, hitting from him and then uh, also Coach Thompson and all great guys and uh, Mr. Gay gave me the opportunity to come back again for another summer and uh, I mean it's hands down the best league you can come to with uh, uh, competition and then uh, all the professional scouts here so uh, it was a no-brainer and an unbelievable opportunity. And being from close by here in Massachusetts it must have been a great opportunity last season to play in the Cape League was it just uh, and then again this season was it a league that you always watched and heard about growing up? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, growing up, I think every baseball player has three main goals to play Division One baseball, to play in the Cape Cod League and to get drafted and uh, to come down here. And I was always growing up, uh, family came down here for a couple of vacations and just to watch this. And uh, my, co uh, my two cousins, uh, Daniel and Jared Bard, both played in it. And uh, to have the opportunity to play in it's uh, just a uh, dream come true. So uh, just taking, this, taking, taking it by uh, each step by step and just uh, loving every moment of it. And what makes it so special? What's so special about the Cape? I mean, we hear about it being one of the you know best summer leagues. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, you'll see uh, if you watch a major league game, I think it's one in every three players has played here. So obviously you're playing against guys, and uh, hopefully you aspire to uh, compete against them and uh, to do well and to improve as a player and to have that opportunity to get uh, play professional baseball and to uh, make uh, big strides to go to the major league. So, uh, I mean, just down here is, uh, opens up a lot of doors for you, and uh, you just got to take, take advantage of the opportunity. And being drafted this season by the Chicago Cubs uh, in the 17th round, do you think you're going to stay around here a little longer with the Gateman, or is it something that you're deciding maybe to go on? Uh, I mean, uh, initially, what uh, I guess what they told me, it wasn't what I was looking for, and uh, I thought I might as well just come down here and enjoy the summer and uh, play play my heart out. And uh, if it ends up working out, then uh, that's great. But if it doesn't, then I uh, have no problem going back to UConn and graduating. So. Uh, I mean, it's an unbelievable opportunity to come down here and uh, just, just like I said, just taking it day by day and uh, just enjoying every moment of it. And you mentioned your cousins and Daniel Bard with the Red Sox, Ray Lever there. Have you talked to your cousins about what it's like to go on and play professional ball and get it to the highest level? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, at his wedding, there was about three or four Red Sox there just uh, talking with them and uh, just going through their experience of playing college, uh, a lot of them playing the Cape and then minor league baseball and then the majors, just to kind of the process and then to finally get there, uh, they just said how uh, if you had really have a big heart for the game and you really try your hardest and put forth the effort that it takes, that if you really have a drive for it, then you can get there, and it's a uh, it's a possibility. So uh, just always just keep stay hungry and uh, keep keep chugging, I guess. Well, congratulations. Uh, we hope you stick with us all season, but you never know, and you know, good luck in the future, and we'll be looking for you on one of those rosters in the big leagues. Oh, thank you.